Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import music to Share Factory on your PlayStation 5 from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So it's very easy to import music from a USB drive to Share Factory. First, you have to format the drive to the file system EXFAT and then make a share factory folder. Then inside that folder, make a music folder and then place your music in there. So let's go over to my computer right now and do that. So when you plug in your USB drive, it should pop open on your screen. If it doesn't, go to the bottom of the screen and go to the file explorer and open this up. Now locate your USB drive on the left side if it's not already open. I can see mine is the USB drive D. This will probably be different on yours. Now make sure you have the correct drive listed and located and selected. So I have USB drive D selected. Now right click on it and then go to format. Now this could be a different drive on your computer. So don't accidentally format the wrong drive. So go to the file system now and go to EXFAT default. Then go to start and format that entire drive. Now, once you have the drive formatted, this will erase all the data. So when you go into the drive, there will be nothing in here. Now I didn't format it, so I have the share factory folder and the music folder. Now if you're gonna be listening to music on the PlayStation 4 or 5, you wanna go ahead and make a music folder and then put your songs in there. Then if you are gonna be importing music to share factory, you wanna make a share factory folder just like this, share factory, no spaces. Then inside the share factory folder, you wanna make a music folder. So then go ahead and put your music in here. So I have one song in here. I'm going to transfer over another song. So let's go to my songs. So here's my copyright free songs. And then I'm going to select this one right here and then right click on it and go to copy and then go back over to my D drive, select share factory music, right click in here and go to paste. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste this song in there and it's now in the USB drive. I'm going to unplug it from my computer and then go over to my PS5. Now, when you plug in your USB drive to your PlayStation 5, nothing's gonna pop up indicating it's on. So now let's go over to Share Factory right now and select this, then go to the video editor or photo editor. And I'm gonna go to an existing project. So I'm gonna go to my last project and select this and it's preparing it. Now press the X button, then go to add music. Then go to import from USB on the left side. Select this. Now it's assessing music tracks. And now I can see my two songs that I have on my USB drive. Now I'm gonna select the one I didn't already transfer over, which is the top one, and press X on it. Now I can see a check mark by it. And then I can go to the square button and I can import it now to my PlayStation 5. So it's importing the track and I can see it on the top. And I can press R2 now and start playing the track. Then here is another one I transfer over, Trinity by Jeremy Blake. So now I have this song on here. I'm gonna select it. So if it didn't show up on the timeline, just go ahead and just go to the X button again and go to the song and add the music. Now I can see the full song in here. Before it wasn't displaying. I can use the touchpad to go through here or use the right thumbstick. Now if you're just trying to play the song, Go to the PlayStation button, open up the control center, and then go to music right here. And then scroll on down under this list, past Spotify, and go to music sources, general USB flash disk right here, select this. And you can see every song you put into that music folder, not just the share factory folder. The share factory folder slash music won't show up here, just the music folder. So if that makes any sense. So that is how you listen to music and then import the music to your PlayStation 5. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.